Yeah. Coach, why is it that you think that uh, you've taken to Oklahoma and Oklahoma's taken to you? Well, I think it, it just comes down to people. Uh, the people here in Oklahoma City and uh, surrounding area in the state are great people. Uh, they stand behind one another, uh, they work together, uh, they help one another. Uh, it's a lot like uh, where I come from in Saskatchewan. Uh, I think it was kind of a natural fit. Uh, I uh, never met a stranger and uh, my hero is Will Rogers as uh, you can see on the wall here in my office. And uh, uh, you know, just personally, uh, I get along uh, with all, uh, with everyone. Uh, I don't uh, consider myself at a high level. I consider myself just an ordinary man. And, uh, you know, I've come here to work. I come here to raise uh, a family. Uh, my wife works here. She teaches school. My boys went uh, through all their education here. I've got one going to university here now. And uh, it's been a great place uh, to live, work, and uh, you know, I'll probably retire here. And uh, it's, a, it's a, a common bond, I think, that I have between people. People don't, uh, aren't intimidated by me. They know that uh, they can say hello. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I've always felt that uh, I've been approachable. And uh, Oklahoma's been good to me, and I try to be good back to Oklahoma. Why did the Blazers turn out to be more than a fad, a team that attracted thousands for a few years and then faded. That that didn't happen to this team. Well, I think, uh, you know, the, the original Blazers started in 65 and they had a lot of great players here. They were a triple-A team. Uh, they were the feeder team for the Boston Bruins and uh, uh, they had some championship uh, teams here and had great success. Uh, then they went through some different organizations. Toronto came in, then Minnesota came in and things kind of just fell fell off. Uh, in 1992, uh, Brad Lund uh, is the guy that put the Blazers back on the map. Uh, put a staff together, uh, they put a league together, they worked hard, ticket prices were affordable, people got behind uh, the team, and we've been very, very successful ever since. And in 99, uh, Bob Funk bought uh, the team and kind of saved the Blazers because they were uh, probably going to be uh, out of business uh, because the AAA League wanted to come in. Uh, fortunate for, I think, everyone, uh, the Blazers were saved. Uh, the other league uh, went, uh, went away, uh, folded, and the Blazers have uh, been very consistent in the community. It's been a form of entertainment for fans. Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, grew up with hockey from Minnesota, Wisconsin, Canada, etc that uh, live here in Oklahoma City now and uh, OU isn't their team, OSU isn't their team, the Blazers are a nice fit in between and uh, I think that uh, you know the consistency that the hockey club has put together and what Brad Lund has done over the years as a manager he had his 600th win last week uh, in uh, Tulsa and uh, that's quite something for a general manager to be and uh, you know the old teams were were great there was a lot of great players that went on to the NHL they all have fond memories of Oklahoma City uh, unfortunately Ace Bailey uh, Bernard Ace Bailey was a rookie here in 1969 and went on to a great NHL career and in uh, 2001 was uh, killed in 9-11 and uh, I uh, nicknamed my dog Ace Bailey after Garnet and uh, he was quite a player uh, hard uh, hard-working rookie, uh, played his rookie year here and then went up and never went back to the minors and he was a great player. Now, now Coach, we got the tough question. A yeah. woman at Sweets and Eats <laughs> restaurant noticed that you trimmed your mustache. How could she tell? Well, it, it, it's at various lengths. Uh, one time on a radio station they measured it. It was uh, 13 and a half inches long. and. Uh, uh, it, uh, from from side to side, but uh, both my grandfathers uh, had mustaches. Uh, I'm a bit of a throwback, I think, to them, and uh, it's been my trademark. Uh, when I was a player, uh, our uh, coach was very strict. We couldn't have sideburns, we couldn't have mustaches, we couldn't have any facial hair, and I started coaching when I was 20 for him, and I grew a mustache because I was part of management, 
and uh, that's how the whole thing started and I've had it ever since and uh, well, it gets in the way uh, a lot and uh, you know uh, it, I'm not the prettiest guy to watch eating barbecued ribs in Oklahoma but uh, uh, sometimes I eat ribs with a knife and fork I have to cut it off but uh, it's just been part of me and uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of guys that uh, have mustaches, including yourself, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's it becomes a trademark with some guys, and I think it's become a trademark with me. And uh, uh, I don't know what I'd look uh, like without one. I, I've had one since I was uh, really 19 years old, so uh, uh, I get lots of comments. And uh, there's been a few guys around Oklahoma City that kind of look like me and have the the, the droopy mustache and. Uh, I remember the one guy says uh, that I was his favorite coach. He's never been to a game, but every time he goes to a fast food uh, uh, restaurant in a certain part of town, he gets a free hamburger because they think he's me. So uh, he uh, he's one of my favorite, biggest fans and has never been to a game, but uh, he collects on it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can yeah. cut that out. <laughs> <laughs>